Hi, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. This topic is going to be about something that's personal to myself, but everybody can relate at one point or another. At one point in my life, I used to blame God for everything, and I did. I blamed him for the fact that I didn't have a successful career. I blamed him for the fact that I didn't have a better relationship with people. I blamed him that I, didn't, I haven't found the right one. I blame, I blame, I blame. Because I didn't realize I was a cause and so the solution to my own problems. What really started happening, I'll tell you a story, a quick story about myself. As I was growing up, the reality of life is, reality to life is that I suffer from low self-esteem and low confidence. And no one really told me what that really meant up until I had to experience things that didn't feel good or experience situations where I lacked the confidence I thought I needed to succeed. So throughout my life, especially in relationships, and obviously those out there that are single or men or women can relate, is I thought God gave me a, every woman I met to me was bad, or they lacked qualities I wanted. Because I thought myself that, okay, well, if they had the one, two, three, or five things I really liked or enjoyed, I would find more happiness. But reality is, I started realizing that they may have great things about them, but if they're missing one or four components I thought I needed in my life to make me feel happy, I would thus jump to the next thing. Okay, if she had three or four things that I was missing from the previous one, great. But then she had two or three things I didn't like, so I'll jump to the next one. It became just a ripple effect. And the thing that I realized is that I was not committed to anything in life. As I blamed God for not giving me giving what I needed, it's the fact that I wasn't committed. I was committed to my own personal improvement. I was committed to my own personal personal appearance. I was committed to relationships. I was committed because anything that didn't resonate with me or anything that made me bored, I would jump to the next thing. Up until one day, and it happens to all of us, at one point now we get broke and we boil down, we cry, or we get hit with some depression or anxiety, whatever it may be, and we wake up. And when I woke up, I start to realize, wait a minute here, I need some help. And what I need to do in my life to change? And then I start putting that foot forward and realize, okay, what books do I need to read? What audibles do I need to listen to? What coaching do I need to hire? What mental coach do I need to hire? Do I need to see a therapist? I wanted to change. I knew life for me up until the age of 35 had to be better than what I was going through. And I always thought people were lucky. So for me, that person was lucky, so they have what I want. And we're coming to comparing ourselves to others, looking at their relationships or success in life, that if we had the same thing, we'd be happy. And truth, we can have the same thing, but when we get committed to something and we finally find what we really, really want, not just a simple, well, I want to lose 20 pounds and I'll go to the gym for, for, for a first couple of months and I'll get in better shape. After the first couple of months, you stop going to the gym because you get all these excuses. This work got busy, friends, families, birthdays, whatever it may be. When you're really committed on something, the commitment is so compelling, you can't go to sleep and think about it. You wake up thinking about it. You are using everything you can to create that. Like Tony Robbins would said, Failure is not just failure right then and there or success right then and there. No, it's a little bit of things that add up to failure or to success. So if you really want to change a different direction in your life, figure out where you're failing at and make those more successes so that way you can have the better success in your life. I hope you guys learned something here, especially going 2021. Set some good goals that are compelling, that you really, really want, are definable. Not just something I wish I had, or I wish I'd lose 10 pounds, or I wish I had better relationships, or I wish I had a career. No, stop wishing and stop being committed to what you want and the process and that commitment. Because success is little things along the way that lead to success. Same thing with failure. Failure is little things that add to, to the big failure. So get out there, figure out what you want, and proceed forward. Now, if you have any questions, and if you're tired of who you are, where you are in life, you're stuck, you're unfulfilled, you can find me on the www runbusinesscoaching.com. Hit the discovery call. Let's talk. Let's see where you are so you can improve your life one step at a time. Thank you for listening.